New on the night beat, three generations lost in a single shooting. 37-year-old Jeanette Quiroz and her daughter, 18-year-old Bernadette Quiroz, were shot Tuesday at an apartment complex on Emerald Ash. Jeanette died at the scene. Family members say her pregnant daughter survived just long enough for her baby to be delivered by C-section. Tonight, we learned that baby girl has also since died. The night team's Garrett Berger talked to family and friends who have been left broken hearted. Now, Garrett, tonight's vigil must have been really difficult for those loved ones. Absolutely, Courtney. It was an emotional night for the more than 100 people that we've seen pass through this southeast side bar. You can see behind me this memorial set up with candles and photos. Now, there was a balloon release earlier and a candlelight vigil. And right now, the crowd is mostly turned to a more relaxed atmosphere, sharing memories. But they tell us that earlier they were doing something that Jeanette Quiroz loved, dancing. Now to take us back to that fateful day, police have said Jeanette and Bernadette Quiroz were standing next to an SUV when an unidentified juvenile male opened fire on Tuesday. Their death left their family reeling while also trying to hold on to the tiny, fragile life of Tabitha Bernadette Quiroz, born the same day her mother died. But Tabitha's great-grandmother, Jeanette's mother, says the infant was brain dead, and eventually she says she made the difficult decision to remove her from life support. It's not what I want, but that's what I have to do. For the baby safe and for her to rest in peace. Why keep her here when she's not here with us? She went with her mom because she was dead by the time they got her to the hospital too. She was brain dead, so I'm saying she died with her mommy. And the only thing that consults me is that, okay, well, this happened, so she's, I have to return her back to her mommy. Both Quiroz and Bernadette's brother say they hope the shooter is caught and sentenced to death. The Quiroz matriarch telling us, quote, my pain is triple to one of them. Now, as of, as of tonight, we have not had any updates on the identity of that shooter, whether an arrest has been made or what the motive might have been. Live on the southeast side, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.